Okay, so I'm just recording this clip real quick at like 11 at night because I was working on the Minecraft world for survival. As you can see, I've managed to get three diamonds. I'm going to use these three diamonds to make a pickaxe. I'm going to harvest that nether portal and then use its materials. And as well, I found that one, the big boy nether portal. It's out in the distance, as you can see. I'm going to, oh, uh oh. Okay, so I'm back in its day. But as you can see, there is a big boy nether portal over there. Now I'm going to like draw down the schematic for it on a piece of paper. So like what blocks go where exactly. I'm gonna like make a blueprint of it. I'm gonna tear it down and then I'm gonna put it up here if it can fit. And I'm gonna use the bits of obsidian and netherrack there that um, I'm gonna harvest from that small portal to make it more complete up here before going and getting obsidian from underground. But basically I'm gonna have like a full restored big boy portal for my nether portal and then we're gonna do another uh now we're gonna do another video today so when you see me recording it the portal should be completely intact hopefully hello and welcome back everyone i'm back on the minecraft survival world i got my bears here i got my house still intact we've got a couple more chests here due to how much i've been collecting mainly cobblestone and other tidbits from um mining and such but the problem is, is that I have died twice with major amounts of resources on me. I haven't had a chance to go back and get a whole heap of um, resources to restock. As you can see, I only have a couple of things on me. I should probably put the iron and stuff in here. But I do have some good news. You can see it up there. Now, I did mention just a moment ago that I would be removing portals that have spawned around me and rebuilding them all together to make one big portal up here. It's meant to be like a completely refurbished relic version, but I haven't gotten enough resources to actually fill in the rest of it. But at the moment it should be prepped to use as a full nether portal. I'm not sure if the crying obscene will affect the uh, frame build from it. Cause I, I mean, you're not meant to build it with crying obsidian, but I assume that since it's in the corners, it doesn't matter. But we got the portal from down there, you can see a tiny bit of red where the netherrack is. And then, off in this direction, you might be able to spot the giant patch of netherrack over in that swamp lane there with a little dirt T, which is what I use to get the uh, resources from the portal. But I mined it all out, I made sure I had a little sketch of it before I um, rebuilt it here so I could get it as close to what the rep looked like as possible. But I'm gonna try and refurbish it to the point where it looks like it was just built, kind of. Of course, I'm keeping all the muscle and cracked stone and all that. But I haven't lit it yet. I haven't gone into the nether yet. Uh, I'm really hoping I can get some quartz to make some uh, detectors. I think that's what they're called, redstone detectors. But with those, I should be able to turn my farm, sugarcane farm and all that, into a more of an automatic thing so I don't have to sit there and keep digging it all out and then I can keep this for decorations. Oh yeah, by the way, I have a bridge. You may not have noticed that. I also have refurbished the stairs here so they don't look as wacky. And the mob farm that is directly underneath the nether portal is not very good. It's getting me very little of literally anything. And I have hooked up a very small water transportation system that goes from the bottom of the mob dropper and just drags the items all the way through here with water. But it's not very efficient, I don't know if the height's high enough to kill mobs, I didn't check. So we could just have a really faulty mob drop right below the nether portal. And also, the fountain is gone. There's a nice little Christmas tree here. The most decoration I have is that gold block for the star. But everything else, I, I literally could not find a thing for it. Like. I, I was going to put lanterns on it, but then you can't hang lanterns from leaves. I'm bummed out about it. It's becoming nighttime. I also have uh, my mine dug down straight to bedrock. And there's a little thing around the diamond layer that I'm digging out to try and find diamonds. Uh, I lost my diamond pickaxe and about three other diamonds when I went out like exploring and mining. And I know I could just walk back and get it, but I exploded 
and then all my items flew into a lava pool. And you're probably wondering, what is this below my uh, fountain? Well, I found a really nice mine, ravine kind of thing off in that direction, which I haven't even completely explored yet. I thought it was in this direction at first, so there's like a tiny little thing that goes that way. I haven't bothered cleaning it up. But I have used some resources I got to build a very, very slow transportation system to get to my mine. I'm just gonna cut it back for when I get to the actual thing. Also, I have a fan going in my room, and I know when you record you shouldn't have a fan unless your microphone's good enough to like cut out the audio of the fan, but dude, it's so hot where I am at the moment. I know it's meant to be like Christmas, wintry thing, but here in Australia, it just gets hot. <laughs> Us, like, our Christmases consist of like sand, not snow. <laughs> You see, this isn't very fast, and considering the way I built it, it just loses momentum very quickly. Here is the mining outpost, which is extremely far away. I believe it is night time. Yes, it is. But I have built it somewhere random. I don't know where exactly I am, just where the mine is. Uh, we've got uh, furnaces, some stuff from where I've been mining. Here's a little window into the ravine. As you can see, there's still some dark patches I haven't explored yet. This isn't a very good view. But we go out here, and to the right should be, no. I think, yeah, no. This way goes back outside, I think. And over here is the entrance to the actual ravine area. There's some dark patches. I don't think I've explored where all the tunnels lead out to, so I keep coming here whenever I need to mine, go down to the low levels, and try and find some good resources. But enough talking about that, let's head back to the main base where I have the nether portal set up to light. I have this flint and steel for it. I'm gonna set it alight, jump in, have a look at where my nether spawn is, and then I'll probably do some nether stuff today. Now I know I did a lot off camera, but it's, it's pretty much fine. You guys probably didn't want to see me going around dying three or four times to creepers and then my stuff being launched into lava. I also have a a little surprise coming up soon in about 13 odd days uh, from the timeline you might know what it is uh, it's very well not controversial but like it's well known to being postponed a lot but I'm hoping I can open up a little box for you guys and show you its contents and maybe just maybe I might do a little bit of a video on the game because I heard that it's got a streamer mode so all copyrighted music and stuff is completely cut from the game. Now it's time. It's around midnight and it's the perfect time to light the nether portal. As you can see, I have given it redstone trimmings, which I think either due to my texture pack or the regular game, it just hues red a bit. But now, it's time. Our nether portal is now active. Let's go. So, uh, the nether portal isn't as extravagant out here, but first things first, let's get this quartz. Because I'm going to need this for the observers. That's what they're called. I can hear gas already. And the ambience of death. We seem to have some basalt here. Uh, maybe a basalt cavern or something. There's lava and magma pits. I need some glowstone maybe as well. I don't know what I'd need glowstone for. Better lighting, I guess. If I had fire aspects, not fire aspect, uh, fire protection, I might be able to just jump down there and swim back to the uh, thing, but I do not have anything to brew potions. I would need to find another fortress for that and get uh, blaze rods for it. But for now, our main priority is getting this quartz. And there goes that quartz. I'm fine losing a bit of quartz. Oh, okay. I thought you were a piglin. I was about to say, like, oh no. Can I mine gold? Oh, I can. As long as there's no piglins around, I should be fine. Because they currently don't have any golden armor on me. I know they only respect you if you wear golden armor. Because they're greedy. You know, the sound of walking on netherrack feels really weird. It's all squishy sounding. Like, not squishy, but like, it's 
it's kind of reminiscent of the sound of someone walking around in wet leather boots. I might grab some of this basalt looking stuff as well. Was it basalt? Yeah, basalt. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. I believe that's blackstone. Some mushrooms. I'm not- oh, here's a quartzite drop. Uh, I'm not at all prepared to actually like fly around the nether and do things safely. Why are you so loud, man? Zambi Zambi. I'm very tempted to like hit him off, but I know that's a bad idea. No, god damn it, I was gonna shove you off. Now you're stuck. So I need to get back to the nether portal and then need to make some observatory boys. Where's the portal? Here it is. I'm gonna like open it up a bit. But so far I can't see any nether fortresses. Which would have been good, but oh well. Okay, it's time to return to the land of, well, overworld. We have returned through the right portal. I'm thinking about putting some gold blocks here and putting the other gold block up there with the gold that we got. Then here's the boat, like the behind of the portal, which is not very pretty at all, considering I just cobbled it together with, well, cobblestone. Okay. Nah. -uh. Not ready to fight you at the moment. I should not do that, I'm going to die. <laughs> I am on the brink of death and all I did was jump. A lot. Here's a collection for the nether. I make some more gold. So in total we have gotten eight gold ingots, which I'm gonna throw in here with gold nuggets. Uh, we got some netherrack, but first I wanna make this quartz into an observer. There's the cobble. And red stone, oh yeah, it's all in the basement. Oh no, it's all in the portal frame. I'm gonna have to go and collect it from the portal frame. This will only be a temporary change. I'm going to steal some more redstone from the big boy up here. I didn't think I used it all in the actual portal and hopefully it doesn't drop through the portal or else I'm gonna to have to go back to the nether to get it. Just to make it even. No, god damn it. I'd like to go back, please. Okay, so I got the two redstone blocks that I'm gonna probably need to make the very tiny uh, sugarcane automatic farm. But first, let's make our first observer. I'm not gonna use that because that feels like cheating. Bada bing, bada boom. Now we have an observer. Now we just need to put a what it was called <laughs> a redstone piston underneath it, which is gonna need iron and wood. And I think I got everything for it. Pretty sure it's this, this. This, this, and one more, that. Like say right here. Um, let's just shove this into the wall. Put you here. That is the wrong way round. I think that's facing downwards. There we go. So now we have this little thing here. Uh, put some sugar cane here, probably a water bucket here. Sploosh, and then sugar cane. Oh, wait, no, that's too far down. That's just gonna knock out the entire sugarcane thing. We get the piston. Cover that up. Put that there. Now let's grab two of these to make it act like it's grown. So, boop. Oh, look, it's growing. And then, boop. Uh, maybe it's a... Uh, this kind of situation? Oh, there we go. So now it gets to here. Yes! We have a tiny little automatic sugarcane farm here. I just need to put some hoppers, preferably around here, and some walls. We just need to put a hopper here. And then it'll feed into a chest, which will be here. Bada bingus, bada bungus. I am very near to death, but oh well. And everyone's probably screaming at me, like, do something, girl, she's gonna die. And I'm gonna be like, aha! I know how not to die. It's called waiting. <laughs> so I just need to... Okay, wait. <laughs> I need sugar cane to go into here. Then it gets into this chest. 
probably put some trap doors here to make sure nothing flows out and there we go so now we have a very tiny automatic sugarcane farm which when it's done it will push the sugarcane from its top point uh, it should all fall down and then hopefully it gets put into the swivel hopper and then we have automatic sugarcane put into here that's the automatic sugarcane farm done I'll work on the automatic pumpkin and automatic wheat farm designs while I'm off screen see how well they fit into the world figure out where I want to put them and then I'll build them on screen but yeah I think that'll do it for today we've built the nether portal we've lit the nether portal I've shown you guys the new Christmas tree the bridge the uh, little tunnels that go all the way down to the uh, mining facilities I've also showed you what else have I shown you I showed you how I fixed up the uh, staircase tower and I showed you how I finished the really horrible mob farm and now I have also completed the first automatic sugarcane farm. I'll try and explore the nether like more openly, make it so it's more comfortable to travel around there. But for now, so I hope all of you have a good day, a good afternoon and a good night. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.